Good morning and I hope everyone's having a good start to the Thursday. If you've walked outside, you've probably noticed the change in temperature. It's really starting to drop. The winds are picking up. Cooler and drier air surging into the region as a cold front pushes off to the east. Now what's left of Hurricane Zeta now into southern Virginia. So this thing's been moving, leaving a path of destruction from southeastern Louisiana where it made landfall yesterday all the way up into the Carolinas. Well over a million people without power across the southeast. So as the sun begins to rise higher in the sky, Hopefully we can start to get that cleanup effort underway. Thoughts to everyone to our south that's been affected by all of the hurricanes this season. It's been a very active year, but as for our current radar, things are calming down across the region, which is definitely good news. We could have a couple of light showers a little bit later on, and believe it or not, we're finally seeing some sunshine out there. As for temperatures, yeah, they're starting to drop pretty quickly. We're at 47 in Greenville, 44 in Pine Bluff, 41 in El Dorado. So the coolest temperatures off to our west. We're looking at low to mid 50s across the island. 55 corridor this morning and when you add in that wind it feels even colder the wind chill 38 degrees in Cleveland 37 in Monticello 41 in Belzona and Greenville so again this is the coolest air we've had so far so if you're traveling out or if you're heading out the door you definitely want to grab that coat this morning as tracking out the rest of your day goes that front's going to continue to race off to the east things calm down here in the delta we'll have some cloud cover and we'll have peaks of sunshine embedded within that cloud cover weak system should bring some more clouds in later this afternoon maybe a few showers to the north along the tennessee mississippi border and then things calm down and we start to see those clouds finally disappearing that's going to allow for temperatures to really drop tonight high pressure settles back into the region and notice we are looking calm as we we wake up Friday morning across the entire southeast all the way to the mid south and temperatures are going to be chilly to start our Friday. We're also going to be dealing with some pretty high winds today, anywhere from 25 to maybe even 30 mile per hour gust. And again, with those cooler temperatures, it's going to make it feel a lot colder today. And these wind gusts are going to persist through much of the day. You can see one, two o'clock still at 25 mile per hour, and they're really not going to die down until later this evening. And as for our rain chances, well, it's going to be dry as a bone heading into next week. No rain chances, and it's been really gloomy the last week, so seeing plenty of sunshine in the forecast is definitely a refreshing sign for us here in the Delta. And over the next six to 10 days, we have a very good chance of being below average in rainfall, so we're likely to not see any rain unless something dramatic changes for at least the next week, week and a half. As for today, highs are 55, a mix of sun and clouds, windy, chilly, wind gust again potentially as high as 30 miles per hour going to make it feel even cooler. Some highs, you know, may not even budge above 52, 53 degrees. We're looking at 56 in Carrollton. As for tonight, that's when temperatures really start to drop. Decrease in clouds, cold lows in the 30s and winds out of the northwest can make those wind chill values lower than 30 degrees. Potentially, especially in the northern half of the viewing area where temperatures dip into the mid 30s, Charleston, Batesville potentially getting in on some frost. So that'll be something to watch out for tomorrow morning. And as we go into tomorrow afternoon, plenty of sunshine. Finally, only a few passing clouds, seasonably cool north winds and 5 to 10 miles per hour highs of 58 and heading into your Halloween weekend. We're looking at temperatures in the mid 60s, very fall like comfortable. And remember, we fall back this Sunday at 2 a.m. So before you go to bed on Saturday night, be sure to set those clocks back. You're gaining an hour of sleep. And as we go into next week, another shot of cool air, but bright sunshine. It's going to stick around through at least next Wednesday. Yeah, Clay, I'm definitely happy to see that sunshine up here. And it looks like we're going to have a really beautiful fall weekend for all any Halloween activities. Yeah, after this week of gloom, we're going to have a nice stretch of sunny weather. So uh, definitely happy here.